Hey guys, so today is um, Thursday, January 18th, and um, I actually meant to get on here earlier and do a video, and then I got caught up in, you know, life. So I just wanted to get on here and just let you guys know how much I'm thinking of you, how much I am praying for you, how much I miss you, how much I love you. And um, how much I know that God is in this. He, I wish I could tell you the things um, that are happening um, to move things forward and move them along. Um, but unfortunately, I have people who are, I call them trolls, but they're people who watch my video on behalf of Brian Scogg and his family. And so sometimes it's being used as ammunition against me. So I can't share things. Um, but I will say that I am pretty confident that I'm going to write a book. In fact, I am going to write a book and you'll be able to read all these things. Um, but it's just exciting. God is moving. He has not been silent. He has been waiting for particular times. Everything, um, that God does is just everything that God does is there's a reason for it in his timing. And although we can't understand it and we get frustrated um, and we don't understand why he doesn't answer our prayers, especially immediately, especially when we're praying what feels like it's a part of his will, um, a part of the word of God. Well, what the Lord is showing me that yes, he answers the prayers, but the timing. So like, it's like uh, Daniel when he prayed and fasted um, for 21 days. I'm sure you guys remember that. He prayed and fasted for 21 days. And then um, he the angel showed up and he said, yeah, I was held up um, by these principalities. So he was being held up. Yes, there are times that things can hold up our answers um, coming from the other realm. And then there's other times that the answers just haven't been released for other reasons. So reasons as the Lord wants to uproot and expose more things. Um, there are, there are many, many reasons. Um, and the Lord is showing them to me in this particular case. And I just want you to know, um, that I'm excited because it's just confirming what the Lord has been showing me and telling me and it will happen in due time. All the prayers that myself and your Auntie Anne and that your Grandma Sederno and everyone, including your stepdad Hadid, everyone, these prayers will be answered because they're in alignment with his will. It's just a matter of time and we have to be patient and persevere in it and just trust and believe that he'll do what he said he's gonna do and um and he's refining us in the process like we're gaining more wisdom and perseverance and faith and trusting god in levels that we never did before so when the answers come when they actually manifest and come um that one will point it all back to god and number two, that we will know, like, we will know that when we have tough times ahead, which I'm sure we will, or we're going to have tougher times ahead, God gives us these little, little tiny hills, which I know this feels like, you know, Mount Everest climbing over. But when we get over the little hills, it's like working out. When you first go to the gym, you don't go bench press 300 pounds. You start with something little and you strengthen your muscles. It's the same thing with faith. You build your faith with little things and then God will put other things in front of your path and we accomplish them with him. And then he puts something else and we accomplish it with him. And so that way, if that smaller hill, that smaller thing, gets presented in front of us, it'll be like shuffling a piece of paper. It won't even look like a hill anymore. Um, but that way, by the time we get to Mount Everest, which I know this feels like it, 
um, that we will have the endurance, we'll have the strength, the perseverance, the tenacity to overcome that Mount Everest in our life. And um, I don't believe this feels like Mount Everest. I don't think that this is Mount Everest because we're all too young. You guys, I am, and what I believe in the future Mount Everest might be, um, we will have been prepared for it and we will have the faith to believe that God will do what he said he will do. So I just wanted to get on here. I'll make this kind of a shorter one. I love you. I miss you guys so much. I, um, yeah, I just, I wish I could be with you. I wish I could give you a hug. I wish you guys could help decorate your rooms and pick out your bedding and your wall decor and set up your home office, your um, environment to where you would want to study and discuss. Do you want homeschool or do you want to be, or do you want to go to school? Like all these things, like, I wish that I could be an active mother in your life apart from praying, but I'm not going to complain because I, I think I just talked about that the other day. Um, I'm going to trust God and I'm going to thank him for what I do have. I have a wonderful husband. Um, we have a beautiful home. I love this area of Texas that we're living in and um, I love what I'm doing, um, contending for um I guess you could say law and justice um, and bringing back God's justice to this land. So I will thank God for that. Um, I thank him that you guys are alive. I believe you're alive, although I don't even know that because I don't even have access to know if you're even alive. But I'm going to believe and I'm going to thank God you guys are alive. You are healthy. You are well and um and that you're doing good wherever you're at i'm gonna believe for that and thank god for what i cannot see that's another thing is i can thank god for bringing you back to me i can thank god that he has answered the prayers that are manifesting but haven't yet i can thank god that we will be reunited i can thank god for justice and truth to be revealed I can thank God um, that he will do what he said he's going to do, period. So um, I love you guys. I'll say a prayer over you. Father God, I thank you so much for Warren and Clara. I thank you that you have trusted me with them. I thank you for the things that you are revealing to me. Um, Lord, I thank you that you are bringing everything out of the dark and into the light and that you are giving an opportunity for people to repent and turn to you, Lord, because I know you don't want to lose your children. You want them close to you, um, which will alleviate and get rid of all their fear and their anxiety for trying to keep all their lives straight. So, Lord, we pray for those who are um, contending against us, who are contending against the children of God, and we pray for your mercy to come upon them. Lord, we thank you that you are in this, you are for us, and we thank you for those little mountains that you put in front of us so we can build our faith and be ready for the bigger ones. Lord, I just thank you for, thank you for giving me this opportunity to contend um, for your prayers, for your, for the answers to the prayers that you've already given us. I thank you, Father, in your name, amen. I love you guys so much. God bless you. Um, I will see you tomorrow. All right, I love you. Bye.